Well, here's some more health warnings for you. Nothing like a relaxing mani-pedi after a long week, but there are some things you should never ignore when you walk into the salon. Huffington Post says these are the red flags that you should find a new manicurist, starting with stacks of raggedy old magazines. This is an obvious sign that not much cleaning is happening. And dusty mannequin hands and artificial <laughs> plants. All the time. We know they're dated, but they're also they also attract dust mites. Now, a salon pet, of course, animals are cute, but they are not safe in this environment. And clogged foot tubs. That means bacteria is lurking and likely not cleaned properly. And nail salon licenses that aren't clearly visible. When you walk in and you don't see them, there's a problem because when sharp tools and flammable chemicals are being used, you want to be sure that your hands and feet are in the care of a professional. And diluted disinfectants or malfunctioning sterilizers. Cutting corners on sterilization can result in the transmission of nail fungus uh, and infections. Double uh, right? There's Gross. way too much room <laughs> for this stuff to happen. I yeah. will never forget getting my feet done once. You know that, like, looks like a cheese grater thing? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, the they were using it on this lady, and she took the cheese grater <gasps> thing, dipped it in the water that her feet uh, were in, and handed it to the lady next to her. Oh, and no. I'm like, I'm out. That's Deuces. all I needed. That's all Deuces. I needed. Yeah. Nope. Bad. Bad. Nope. I hate when you walk in and the smell hits you immediately. Stay away from those yes. places. Because yes, they're using the cheap tip. acrylic and you don't want that in your life no, or your nostrils. You don't. And I mean, I always have to cut my own toenails when I go in there because they never cut them they short enough. Short. And, and I'm always scared. Yeah, I'm always scared they're going to like cut my foot. So I just do it myself. And, and they, they grow out and you got to come back quicker anyway. Oh, that's so. Spend more money. And they tell you to do not shave the day you're going to go get a pedi just because you're embarrassed about your legs because then you've just exposed your skin to all that nastiness. Yeah, all the chemicals and stuff can get I didn't know that. And they should wear rubber gloves too. Yes. They don't use gloves. And new tools. So let's go get a mani-pedi now let's that we shot everybody into it. <laughs>